I want to ask you a question because people have no problems with gene therapy to treat diseases in humans. But when you try to use gene therapy to treat diseases in plants, they lose their minds. Do you have any idea why that's the case? Because it's baffled me for as long as I've been around. It's just as good of a question as to He's why... He's only been around for 12 years, though. So yeah, that's not right. That's, that felt pretty good. I'm actually only 16 years old. Wow, yeah. that's good. <laughs> You're holding up he well. He still gets carded. Yeah. Uh, but, but if you go back to 1983, one of the craziest genetic modifications came into the human market. And yeah, is where Chris. We, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, 81, but yeah. <laughs> that too. Uh, it's where you took a gene from humans yeah. and put it into a bacterium. Yeah. And then you grew vats of the bacterium to produce that human protein that then would be injected in the humans. Mm. And we made insulin mm. through recombinant DNA technology. Was there a lot of pushback? N none. I mean, virtually none. Huh. And, and nobody really cared. No one got upset when we could make growth hormones so we didn't have to harvest it from pituitary glands of cadavers. Uh, chemotherapeutic agents all come through human genes and microbes, and that's fine. But if you take a plant gene and you turn that plant gene into, put it in a plant, <laughs> that's something that maybe we could do by breeding if it took, if we had a thousand years. Um, breeding trees takes a long time. Uh, we could do it, but we don't do those things because of the pushback. And, and that's the sad part is, is all the things that we can't do that would really help the environment, that would help farmers, help the needy. We can't do those things because of the fear of the technology.